Hey guys, we are going to continue with our SEO workshop where we are working on Google Maps and local search. So by now, hopefully you have registered your business with Google Maps. If not, you are missing out on a huge advantage for SEO because 46% of all Google searches are location-based. But get this, this is the crazy part. 55% of local businesses, that means over half of them, haven't even registered their business with Google. So that means that the other half are getting double the inquiries and work and listings and rankings. So it's very, very important that you register your business with Google. Now, assuming that you've done that from our last video, we are going to head over and finish building out our profile. So I'm going to click on my Google business profile. So you can go to business.google.com to enter this manager. And here you can see we've got a snapshot. Yours might look a little bit different because Google is constantly tweaking what their tools look like. However, all we're going to do is go into our info. And we're going to update and add the info for our business. So I've gone through and I've added my wedding photography name, what category of business I have. One thing that you should note is Google has erased my address for my business. I've just realized this after looking at it. And the reason for that is I have two businesses. No, thank you. I have two businesses. One is Taylor Fit Photography, one is Films, and I registered them with the same address. And I guess Google looked at that and said, uh, no, we can't have two businesses at the same location. So they said ixnay on that. So I'm going to have to figure out where I'm going to register my business or maybe switch that up. Hopefully you don't have that problem. So you're going to go through, switch up your info and just make sure that it is accurate. I just put open 24 hours because I look at my email all the time and because this helps with listing in Google searches on say a Sunday when someone searches for a wedding photographer I want to show up, I don't want to show up as closed. Uh, then we're going to add special hours if you have them, your phone number, website, um, services. So I would go through and I would add my different services that I offer. So I go in here and I would make sure that I have wedding photography listed, I've got engagement photography, elopements. So you could just go in and you could add, let's say I have pet photography and I go in there and I would add pet photography and I would just add a little bit of pet session and let's do $8,000 because I feel like my pets are worth it. And then I would go through and say, want amazing photos of your pets. Make sure to grab them with this all-inclusive session. And so you go through and you would add different prices, different offerings, different things that you do with your business. And that's all just adding keywords, SEO, more information for Google to work with. When people are searching for pet photography, you might show up, right? So this is all pretty straightforward. You just go through, make sure your info is updated and correct. Your shop description is where you can insert your keywords. So Taylor Fit Photography is a Kelowna-based wedding photography studio. That's the city that I want to rank for. And then I have some different information and a call to action. So we offer a complimentary engagement session with every wedding. And then let us know if you're in Kelowna or Vernon, again, a nearby city that I also would like to rank for. So I've included that in my description. And you can add photos of your business. So I would very much suggest that you do that. So go through, add photos, your um, best portfolio pieces you would add in here. So I've updated some photos in here. And then when someone actually pulls up the info in my business, guess what pops up? This. Actually, this is the exact listing that they will see, all these photos. So make sure that those are up to date and your best stuff. And from there, you are pretty much set. The one last thing that you can add is your labels, which is essentially your keyword. So I've added in all the cities that I service and different variations. So I've got wedding photographer, wedding photography, you get the point. So go through there, add your keywords, and you are good to go into the next video.